hey guys welcome to a brand new video today i'll be showing you how you can find vulnerabilities and their exploit code with different services and tools let's get right into this you might come across cves when you are doing your pen test or bug hunting these are just publicly disclosed vulnerabilities so um, i'll show you how you can find publicly disclosed vulnerabilities and how you can find their exploit codes let's get right into this so the first tool we'll look at here is CVE details. And here we can search for a product, a platform, a, an application, anything, any keyword you want to search for that relates to the vulnerability that you are looking for. So one of the platforms I've come across recently while doing pen test is Bomga. And if I just search for Bomga here, this brings up a result of publicly disclosed Bomga vulnerabilities. And we have one code execution here and one directory traversal here. So if you click on this, you'll be able to go into the vulnerability details. And this scores a 7.5. So this is how critical the vulnerability is. And sometimes you'll be able to get the uh, exploit code from here. So this will take you, the references here will take you to the main author or the main uh, website this was published and sometimes you'll be able to find the exploit there but other times you might not be able to find the exploits there so that's cve details this is one of the most common websites you see when you're hunting down vulnerabilities let's take a look at the next website so the next website is exploits database and this is one of the most popular exploits websites one of the most popular websites was searching for exploits so let's search for let's see uh citrix so citrix is another platform i've come across a lot recently i didn't spell this right citrix so this sorts the vulnerabilities out by dates and we have let's see different types here and the platform here and we have the authors here so let's check this one out so the good thing about exploit database is that this gives you the actual exploit code you can run and you can use to attack that particular service or that particular application so this is a meta exploits uh, module and you can run this within the meta exploits uh, framework so let let me show you another tool you can use to search for cvs for vulnerabilities and exploits so the name of this tool is called search exploits and you can run this in your terminal directly in kali linux and search exploits is just a command line version for exploit db so anything you find on exploit db you find on search exploits so let's try this out i'm just going to search for big ip this is another application i've come across a lot so you have different exploits here and if you just do search exploits let's see let's just search for search exploit and see the options here so you have some examples here if you do dash p and the vulnerability number you'll be able to see the path of the vulnerability so let's do search exploit big ip again then i'm going to do search exploit dash p i'm going to let's see let's see this one this authentication bypass and this is 19091 so let's do that one nice you i one so this shows me the path of the exploit then you usually copy this path to your working directory or your exploits your own exploit directory and run it from there you don't want to be running it from the main directory where it's stored so let's let's just view this instead of copying this and we can see the exploits code here and we can just go to let's see big ip authentication bypass one thing we can also do is go to google and search for this vulnerability so once you read up on this on 
some articles on this, you have a better understanding on how to run that exploit. So let's check the next platform you can use to search for vulnerabilities. And the name of this platform is Rapid7. And this is run by the people that own Metasploit. So let's search for Citrix. I'm just going to search for Citrix again. And this will give you two types of results. This will give you a module and a vulnerability. And a module is the actual thing you can run on Metasploit. So all the things you find on Rapid 7's vulnerability database can be run with Metasploit. So a module, a module is the actual thing you can run on Metasploit. And a vulnerability is just details about that particular vulnerability. So we have details about this vulnerability here. And we have details about this here. Then if you open the module, if you open a module, you actually see the Metasploits. Let's just sort this out by module. Let's search again. And let's open, let's see this. You'll be able to see the actual Metasploit module and how you can use that exploit and how you can exploit that vulnerability. So that's the difference between the module and the vulnerability on the Rapid7 database. The last two we'll be looking at is zero day dot today. And this is one of my favorite vulnerability search database. Let's just search for, uh, let's see, big IP. You can just open this. Let's open this one. Let's open exploit. And this gives you the whole exploit. So this is a Metasploit exploit. And you can run this with Metasploit. Let's see. Let's open on that one. So this is hardware. Let's check this one. This is a remote code execution. This is on Linux. Let's open exploit. And this is the exploit. So it's just a call command to get a remote code execution. And this is one of my favorite vulnerabilities set database because this just gives you the exploit immediately. It doesn't let you beat around the bush like CVE details does because CVE details just gives you the description of the vulnerability, the date it was discovered, and the author and lots of other description. But this zero day dot today rapid seven and exploit db gives you the actual exploit code so that's how to search for vulnerabilities and hunt down exploits i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you learned something from this if you did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video